Well, hopefully I'll answer that question and a little bit more. Recently, I started a brand new channel on YouTube all about golf in 2023. It's the first move I've made in five years to do something a little bit different. The question is, is it a success as yet? And what are my feelings moving forward? And should you consider starting a golf YouTube channel in 2023? You also might like to know what kind of money it is that I make from my new channel and what are the potential earnings for you if you're thinking of starting a new golf YouTube channel. Well, I'll answer all those questions throughout this video, but first of all, I'm gonna start off with my own new channel, why I chose to do it and what the potential is from my perspective. And it might answer some of the questions that we get to later on the video when we talk about the potential and the considerations that you're gonna need if you are gonna consider starting your own YouTube channel. So, a few weeks ago, I launched a new channel which is called Testing the Tips, and I'm delighted to say that in the first 14 days, we surpassed 100,000 views. Now, putting that in perspective, when I started my original channel five years ago, it took me best part of a year to get to anywhere near 100,000 views. So to do that in the best part of a couple of weeks, I'm absolutely delighted. We posted four or five videos. We got a lot of people to come over from our existing channel to come and watch. And that obviously gave me the major platform and the boost to get off to a good start. The new channel basically looks at me testing golf tips that are provided by other golf YouTubers, professional golfers. I basically take their uh, lesson, their tuition, their tip, whatever you want to call it, and I put it through its paces and see if it works for me at least, translate that uh, lesson into my language, relay it to you, fellow average golfers, and see if it can help your game. And I've got to admit so far, the, uh, the feedback has been fantastic. I'm absolutely delighted with the way things are going because what we do on our existing channel, as you well know, is predominantly review and test golf clubs. So it doesn't really, it's not necessarily a massive help to anybody's game, whereas testing the tips has already provided some incredible feedback where people have tried out the tip that we've uh, filmed, come and reported back, and uh, it's helped their game, which is an incredible sort of, um, I don't know what it just it just feels good to help somebody out in their game especially someone at my level who isn't qualified to do so but by relaying information that I found that has been successful for me helping out a fellow golfer and them having success in success in their own game it's been fantastic so loving what is happening and I really hope that that continues and I'll tell you what that hundred thousand views earned me very, very shortly. But first of all, let's get back to this idea of do you want to start a YouTube channel focused around golf in 2023 and should you do it? Well, I'm going to say whether you should or shouldn't, but I'm going to pose a number of questions that you probably need to answer before you make that step. I'm going to start off with, first of all, the idea and the concept itself for the channel. And I would ask, is it a unique idea? My own feeling was in terms of the second channel, testing the tips, where it was very much that something nobody else was doing. So it gave me a little bit of a head start in that respect. And I would ask you to consider the same. Is the content already being made? And if it's already been made, that's not such a bad thing, but can you deliver it in a way that is unique to you and give an angle that somebody is not perhaps considering? Again, using my own um, history, if you like, then, I was reviewing golf clubs from the perspective as an average golfer, whereas the majority of people who reviewed golf clubs out there right now were PGA professional golfers. So we always try to look at something with a slightly different angle. So that's the first question I would ask you to consider. Is your idea a unique idea? The second question, what is the target audience that you're aiming at? And the main consideration I would consider is age, that's the real interesting demographic. Who are you trying to appeal to? Obviously, there's a far different audience that I appeal to than say what good good would appeal to. And the main difference would be the age demographic, I would think. So that's one other consideration. Ho always consider who is your target demographic. Next question, are you able to commit time to upload regularly? This is a big one. 
I think there's a lot of people out there who watch YouTube videos and think it's, um, it's an easy life. And trust me, it's far from that. It's the complete opposite. We post a lot of videos right now and it's it's been a slow build up. But what you first need to ask, can you commit to posting regularly? Because it's what YouTube are going to want to see. Now that might just be that you post weekly, but you're going to have to be posting on the same night every week for a number of weeks and a number of months likely before it becomes a successful channel and before YouTube starts to recognize when you are posting these videos and starts to fit you into a pattern, recognize that pattern and start to meet some of the requirements of that elusive YouTube algorithm. But time and commitment to the project is really, really important. The idea of creating one video, disappearing for two or three weeks and then coming back to make another, I would say that is unlikely to work. So another major consideration is the time that you need to commit to make this thing successful. Right, here's one for you. Are you prepared, prepared for negativity? Because trust me, there are a lot of people out there who just love hitting that keyboard and having a little bit of a pop. Now, you need to be fairly thick skinned for this job. You need to be able to um, deal with it in whichever suits you. I prefer to uh, humour because uh, some of these people are quite funny with the stuff they come up in my opinion. Um, but if you're a little bit um, touchy, you might get offended quite easily with some of the things that are said. So be mindful. Everybody knows that social media comes with that kind of negativity nowadays, but it's a consideration. The next thing to think about is what is the aim for the channel? And what I mean by that is it some, is it just about fun? Is it about you sticking your iPhone on, you playing some golf, um, posting on Instagram, you playing some golf, whatever it may be, um, or is it a career? And I think they're quite different things and I think you've got to choose the path that you want to go down in terms of a bit of a route map and it might be the sort of, believe me, where we started and where we are right now wasn't part of the plan. It certainly evolves along the way, but I think you have to have some kind of route map to say that this is where I want to try and take the channel. And then, like I said, there's the odd diversion along the way, but um, yeah, I think some plan in place as to what it is that you want to do with it. Is another one good one for you. Um, I'm reading them with a slight smirk on my face because they're all kind of considerations and problems that we have. Does your unique idea provide enough content opportunities? And what I mean by that is reviewing golf clubs is was really good. But what we need to do is make sure we got access to the golf clubs because without golf clubs, we had no content. That seems fairly logical. So. Um, Testing the tips, on the other hand, is me testing tips from content that already exists. So again, we had a, we had, we, we've got a, a well of content that we can go to um, and produce regular content uh, on the back of it. So that's the idea and the concept. Just think it through, and are you able to then deliver? consistent and regular content and enough content based on your idea. I hope that one makes sense, but I think it's really important as well. Another big one, can you edit video or do you need help? Now, from my perspective, I was um, self-taught, used a Final Cut from right at the very beginning, um, spent hours and hours and hours, um, whether it be on Google or YouTube, trying to find out uh, how you used different parts of Final Cut Pro, which we still use to this day. And it's a long haul and a long process. There are people out there that will edit videos for you, but obviously that comes at a cost. And I would guess that early on, you won't be earning income from day one. So that's gonna be a, uh, a tough start, but a real consideration, they're obviously easier apps to use nowadays uh, than going in straight at Final Cut, but it's a consideration. You're gonna to have to edit videos. And from my perspective, it's a real important part of what we do to make sure we deliver high quality content. Next one, um, and maybe the last one, I think at this stage, is are you passionate about your idea? Because first of all, are you passionate about golf? And maybe are you also willing to lose a little bit of love for the game? because I say that because it certainly becomes, in my sense, a career. And playing fun golf, social golf, whatever you wanna call it, became less and less and less. And like anything that you do from sort of Monday to Friday, uh, your job, 
it becomes less enjoyable to then do that at the weekend. And for me personally, um, my I still love the game, but not I don't play anywhere near as much social golf uh, or get enjoyment from my hobby, what it used to be, um, as what happens now, because like I said, we just are at it no end. And I think that, so just be prepared, you've got to be passionate, and, and, and I'm hugely passionate about golf, so if there is any doubt in your mind that you're going into something you're not fully committed to and not fully passionate about, I would say that in a matter of weeks, months, it will soon become a bit of a chore and you will struggle to uh, have the enthusiasm to create the content that is required. So I would really make sure that, uh, yeah, you give a real lot of consideration pretty much to all of those points. I said about you know, should you start? I think absolutely you should start. It's offered up me um, so many opportunities. It's been a real fun five years. We've done so many things that I would never have expected to do. I've been in with people that I would never have expected to be with and the opportunities keep on coming. However, it's been a long, hard five years and the hours that I've put in, if I was to go back and work out what am I getting paid on an hourly rate, then trust me, way below minimum wage because uh, yeah, it's their long weeks, long hours, be prepared. I, one of the biggest things that makes me laugh about comments that are made and we talk about the negativity, if ever you get a sponsor to sponsor some video content and that means earning some money, the comment that is often fired is, oh, you've sold out. Well, trust me, I would literally, selling out is far from anything that I have ever done or any other golf YouTuber has ever done, in my opinion, because uh, they deserve anything they get because it is a hard, hard graft. And um, I said about dealing with negativity with humor, it's the one comment that really does annoy me. I still can't deal with it because I am certainly not, and I wish it could sell out and make life just a little bit easier. So it's a tough old grind and make sure you're ready for that kind of commitment. Back to my own uh, project, testing the tips. I'm delighted with the way it's gone and I hope that we continue to build that channel and there'll be no end of effort going into that to make sure that uh, I try and make that a success. And to do that, I need subscribers, I need views, and ultimately that is exactly what you are gonna need. So first of all, I would ask you again, encourage you to go over to Testing the Tips, take a look at the channel, there'll be a link in the description below. Support my channel by subscribing liking videos, commenting on videos, they're all major things that you're gonna to need to appeal, appeal to your audience to do as well. In terms of earnings, well, I'll put up a screenshot for you now. This 100,000 views, and this is what I have earned so far. Be prepared, people, it's a long haul, because the first thing you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to uh, hit certain criteria before you're able to monetize your channel. Now we've been able to do that, and the way I will earn money, hopefully, fingers crossed, in the future, is by attracting more views, which attracts more uh, adverts, which you then get paid for. You get paid a minuscule amount, it's a small amount, and the only way you can be successful in this game is if you get a lot of views uh, on your channel, it is that simple. Not many channels go from zero to hero very, very quickly, not from my experience at least anyway, um, but if you stick at it, there is a career in this, but you've gotta be in it for the long haul and uh, not expect to, I hope you do, and good luck to you if you do, but not expect to, like I said, go from uh, on a very quick upward turn, or upward trend rather. Um, but if you do, like I said, good luck, and I hope that's what happens to our second channel, Testing the Tips. Different video, something very, very different. Nothing I've ever spoken about on uh, YouTube at all, uh, but with the introduction of our new channel, I thought there's probably people out there who are considering um, starting new channels in 2023, and like I said, good luck, go for it. You will absolutely love it. Be prepared for the hard work. I'm all done. Listen, I will do a follow-up to this video if it could be a disaster. Maybe it's nothing like what anybody wants to watch right now. I understand that. Maybe it's for, you know, not for my channel. Stick your comments down below if you've got any questions and I will do my very best to answer and hopefully help if, uh, if I can do it in any way. And who knows, there might be a part two for this video because we've covered very much 
the basics of um, some of the questions you need to ask yourselves. Right, that's me done. As ever, thank you all for your support. Thank you for watching. I will see you all tomorrow night with another video because we're cracking on as ever. Bye.